The strawberry is a fruit that contains many nutritional properties and medicinal uses. It is a herbaceous plant with a short height. We will then visit the borough of San Vicente Ferrer, located on the Central Mountain Range in the Central Eastern Department of Antioquia, in the Western region of Colombia. A few years ago, the cultivation of strawberries made an incursion in this borough through some few producers, the ones who today have grown this industry, managing to position on the market for the production of high-quality strawberry. Come and join us and get to know a little bit about this exotic fruit. When I started growing a strawberry 10 years ago, at the first production I saw that it was a very profitable crop, which it helped me to sustain the economy of my family and have a better life, with better revenues going on and on. Time went by and this crop became the town's economy, since most of the inhabitants of this village are engaged with this. The association was founded in 2004 with 100 members. Known as the founding partners to have the resources of the Ministry of Agriculture in a program known as Rural Opportunities. One year after, in the foundation, we received 233 million pesos from the ministry to give farmers seeds and inputs for growing strawberries. Nowadays, the association has approximately 160 members and they are working with the Secretariat of Agriculture of Antioquia in good agricultural practices. The expansion of warehouses and making new organic farming practices. In addition, along with the Ministry of Agriculture, they carry out a rural opportunities project. After the project, with the association, we started working hard and we produced from 20 to 30 tons monthly. Then, over the years, since 2007, we increased the production up to 180 tons of fruit monthly, which were sold to companies for its commercialization. As a matter of fact, we still have this commercial relationship. The cultivation of strawberries in the borough of San Vicente Ferrer produces 45 direct jobs on the sorting and packaging area, 394 direct jobs in the field, production, harvesting and transport, and 230 indirect jobs. A percentage of these people are women heads of families. Nowadays, consumers are more concerned about obtaining healthy food, respecting and protecting the environment, and also ensuring the welfare of workers. For this reason, it is very important to keep good agricultural practices. I invite you to visit one of the crops of the farmers in this borough. I'm Wilmar Ferney Gallo. We are in the pathway Las Frias, in the borough of San Vicente. I'm a strawberry grower. I have about six years growing it. The variety I currently have is Camino Real, and I have 18,000 plants. In the association I have found a marketing support with them. It lends us the technical assistance and they are aware of the farmers. In rainy season you have to fumigate more often because pests like botrytis affect more the plant and you need to be more aware of the crop. The mites are the pests that affect us the most because they are stored on top of the plant, stopping it from flourishing.
As a grower, I have a social commitment of implementing good agricultural practices to give the consumers a clean product of excellent quality. Now, with the agronomist engineer Lady Rivera, we will do a tour around the strawberry crop. There, we will learn how does the planting work or how it is performed, with tasks you should do in the crop, in the harvest, and many other aspects about the strawberry. In Colombia, there have been implemented different hybrids. It is the crossing of different species that were found with European varieties and some characteristic species of our continent. Before the discovery of America in Europe, the Fragaria vesca and Fragaria alpina genders existed. After the discovery, the Fragaria kiloensis and the Fragaria virginiana were also found. Through these genres, crossings came up generating new hybrid species that are currently used in Colombia. For the particular case of Eastern Antioquia, we have the variety Camino Real, which is a hybrid that emerged from mixtures of these genres and species. In the case of Colombia, we have the hybrids Camino Real, Camarosa, Albion, San Andreas, which are other seedlings that are introduced in other areas of the country, the specific case of Bogotá. Plant taxonomy, Rosacea family, genus Fragaria. On the root, we have primary roots and secondary roots that work not only supporting but also absorbing nutrients. We also have a stem shaft from where leaves and flowers will be released and there are also the stolons which is the form of a sexual reproduction the strawberry has. We have the leaves that are on the base of the stem. Those have different lengths and the characteristic is that they have a deep green color. On the base of the stem there are also inserted the flowers that are hermaphrodite. It means they have part of male and female reproduction. They are inbred or self-fertilized, giving this fruit as a result. This is a false fruit. It is actually a significant prolongation, but if we look at the flower, we see that the structures that are more yellow are the male reproductive structures, and the pistils are the female structures. They give rise to those seeds called akens. These elements are really the strawberry fruit that are usually dried. And the whole meat structure we see here is the extension of all the pistil and the formation of the flower. These plants, for being hybrids, do not reproduce in a sexual way. This is by seed, so that they reproduce asexually. One of the methods is the production of corsages sheets that have contact with the ground emitting roots that generates a new plant. The strawberry plant has a specific climatic requirements such as altitude of 1,800 and 2,600 meters above sea level, annual rainfall above 1,800,000 1, millimeters, temperature between 15 and 20 Celsius degrees. When the crop is out of this range, it might be affected by malformations of the flower, the fruit, and low productivity. The soils should be clay loam and sandy loam 
to allow easy penetration and good drainage of water. The pH should be between 5.5 and 6.5. The strawberry, like most crops, is demanding with all its nutrients. It is believed that simply the nitrogen, the phosphorus and the potassium are the only and most important elements because they are required in large amounts. But the strawberry is a crop that demands in most of its elements, such as nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, manganese, magnesium and barium. All these elements have different functions within the plant. The soil nutrition is very important in the development of crops, especially the one of extra berry. Each field is a different space, thus there is no full knowledge of the elements and its availability for the plant. The strawberry in areas that haven't had previous records with other crops will extract the nutrients it requires. that we, as producers and technicians, have to ensure that the ground will get back those nutrients the plant extracted. For growing this plant, we should organize spaces on the ground of 80 cm wide by 40 cm high. After these two dripping lines are installed, these ones will allow a water release directed or going to the root. Then you begin to cover with a plastic that is attached with wood or wire on the edge and on the sides to 30 or 40 centimeters. This plastic is especially designed to control the plants, the moisture capacity, and also to avoid the fruit comes into contact with the ground, as this would cause damage to its structure. Then the plastic is pierced. There are different methods to do it. Finally, we proceed to carry out the planting using a tool that is a welded T-shaped rod with a staple at the end. Its function is to ensure that the root completely penetrates vertically. After planting and in the established crops, there are different tasks. One of the most important is the pruning one of formation, one of reproduction, and another one, phytosanitary. The pruning of formation and reproduction allows the plant to express their nutrition as leaves, flowers, and stolons. When we require the plant for that activity, and when we no longer want stolons, we remove this material because it's an energetic waste of the plant. The phytosanitary pruning is performed when there is attack of pests and diseases. These prunings allow to remove leaves or flowers affected by these diseases, which are spaces for the reproduction of these pests. It is important to keep control on weeds with a machete, as it contributes to the environmental conservation and soil protection. In San Vicente, our crops are not technically advanced in irrigation system. They usually have a traditional water management and it has two applications. First is rainwater and the second the use of water by pumps. When we have a strong presence of summer, what producers do is to use more water for the plants not to suffer from water stress. Some producers have already been implementing their irrigation systems, which have improved nutrition conditions because it ensures that the plant has the indicated dose of liquid in the right time to fulfill its corresponding duties.
we must be clear that leaf fertilization is just a complement of fertilization. It will never be replacing the other. A well-nourished plant comes from the ground and there are many products on the market that guarantee to help the plant with a part of the nutrition of its leaves. In the cultivation there is the presence of different pests and diseases that represent economic losses for farmers in the area. The white mite affects the crop in the youngest parts. This animal is not visible but causes wrinkles in these areas. In San Vicente Ferrer, one of the most important pests is the slug. The trips attacks flowers producing a malformation in the fruits. Among the most representative diseases, economically talking, we have the fungus, the botrytis and the anthracnose. The way to control them from our side in the crop is the following. We remove the affected fruits and we take them out to avoid reproduction. We also have different fungicides of different brands to control fungi. In the diseases we have some bacteria that as well as fungi can be treated with bactericides. We see the chisa complex, which is a larva that eats the roots of the plant. We also have other animals that obstruct the root and impede the absorption of nutrients for the plant and they are also vectors that cause wounds for the plant to be more sensitive to some root diseases. The strawberry plant has three distinct cycles, the vegetative, the reproductive and the productive. The vegetative lasts approximately four months when we are on production of stones and five months and a half when we talk about important plants. From this time, the productive and reproductive cycles begin. The strawberry plant has a genetic behavior which is when at the same time of producing flowers, this one is getting a great deal of leaves. Therefore, the productive part is performed which is the production of its fruit. The cultivation of strawberries has a duration of 18 months, starting from the planting until the last part, which is the harvest. From the fourth or fifth month on, it begins a consistent production with some pronounced peaks. This production occurs every three days. That's when producers plan their harvest according to the maturity degree of their fruits. A strawberry crop starts giving their first harvest depending on where it comes from. If it's a crop of imported strawberry, its first harvest is between five and a half months and six months. If we are talking about stones, it will be at four months. The harvest consists in removing ripe fruits and those who are affected by pests and diseases. The procedure is as follows. These fruits are removed from the branch they are holding to, being careful to avoid hitting them since the majority of losses come from harvest management and post-harvest. As most producers are used to making a harvest with a maturation rate of 50%, then it is very characteristic that this saturation is presented or takes place in several areas. For farmers of this association, according to its business partners and markets, the fruit is harvested in maturation rates between 20 and 40%. The strawberry fruit is classified according to the first, second, third and fourth depending on its size, being the first the biggest one and the fourth one the smallest. After the harvest, 
the fruit is taken to a collection center where it will be selected and packed later for distribution. Once the product has reached the field, what we do is to receive the extra berries in a reception room where there is a person in charge of monitoring the baskets and registering the product. Then it goes to the selection process. It is important to note that each of the tables has a code to meet the standards. There, the product is selected according to the market destination. From there, we move on to an area where the branches of strawberries are removed, and another one of a fresh market, where we proceed to dispatch the product following the customer requirements. In these two areas, it's important to bring up traceability, the quality of the product and its maintenance under suitable conditions for its sale. To provide a good handling of extra berries, it's necessary to keep them constantly in a cold string. The ideal range is between 7 and minus 3 Celsius degrees. In here, when we deliver to a company the product based on the quality of our strawberries and it goes to the final consumer, we should do three daily disinfections throughout the area to prevent the production of fungi or diseases in our work area. In the area of selection, we verify if the strawberries have strange elements, materials that are not part of it, in order to maintain the quality of our strawberries and avoid problems with transportation or other characteristics of the market. The strawberries is a type of food with many good qualities and healthy nutrients among its properties, it has the characteristic of controlling and healing somewhat diseases related with arthritis, constipation, and it is an excellent type of food for the liver.